Quinn Williams is about to be paid. We get into it right here on the show. Let's roll. Zoinks. It is unequivocally the Super Bowl for New York Jet fans. Field Gates, baby. Field Gas Guardians. Let's bring him on the show. Come on, people. Connor Rogers is on the show. What's up, Connor? But Trevor Gaston Sikama, baby, for me, personally, my favorite New York Jet of all time. Wow, it's great to be on. What an intro that was right there. Paul, you, nobody does an intro like you, man. Paul, you, you give the best intro of literally any podcast that I'm, I've, I've ever done. I'm going to lose my gas darn bananas. Hey everybody, my name is Paul Estin Jr., a.k.a. Boy Green. I'm the New York Jets digital reporter for Heavy.com. If you guys are new to the channel or old to the channel, like, make sure you do me a favor. It's a free way you guys can contribute. Like the video. Hit subscribe down below for more insightful New York Jets content, including this very video where Quinn and Williams is about to be paid. And why that is? Well, Rich Samini wrote a column for ESPN where he was tasked with predicting a potential contract extension for Quinn and Williams, and he believes it's going to be a four-year deal for $98 million. bucks. We've got a full article down below with all the details, quotes, notes, and we're going to get into it here on the show. Now, that four-year deal would be tacked on to his uh, fifth year of uh, you know his rookie contract, the fifth-year option. So he has one year left in the deal through 2023. This four-year extension would be slapped onto it. So the Jets would have team control over Quinnen in this projected contract through the 2027 season. Also, a couple of other interesting Interesting notes on the contract. Quinnen would become the second highest paid defensive tackle in football at a $24.5 million per year evaluation, just ahead of Jeffrey Simmons, who had the $23.5 million with the Tennessee Titans earlier this offseason, and behind, of course, Aaron Donald of the Los Angeles Rams. A couple of pieces here. First off, this would be the biggest contract in Jets franchise history. Wow. In total value, in guarantees, total guarantees, and also average per year. Quinnen is expected and set, quite frankly, to annihilate all of those record books. And by the way, deservedly so uh, for Quinnen Williams, who's been a great developmental piece. Rich Samini said, quote, it would be a surprise if he doesn't get a new deal by, quote, the start of the season. And he believes it could happen even. By the start of training camp. Now, I had a conversation with Zach Rosenblatt, again, part of the wonderful stuff happening at this channel, a live stream. You guys can check it out on the channel. During that conversation, I asked him, what is the holdup here with Quinn and Williams in the Jets camp? It seems like an obvious, easy deal. What are we waiting for? Well, Zach Rosenblatt said there is reason to be optimistic about a deal getting done before camp. And he said, quote, the sticking point is not the value of the contract necessarily. It's about one side maybe wants more years and one side wants less years. There are not far apart, according to Zach Rosenblatt. I just think it's kind of like a game of chicken, like it was with the Aaron Rodgers trade negotiations. Pause on his quote real quick and just kind of interpret it. Like the Aaron Rodgers trade thing, we all knew that Aaron Rodgers was eventually going to be a Jet. It was just getting from point A to point B of, of course, making that happen. So we are once again here uh, with Quinn and Williams. And this is where we get into what Zach Rosenblatt just said. Quote, both sides want to get a deal done. Both sides want a certain thing. It's just a matter of who is going to relent, and I don't know who that is going to be. The Jets don't seem like they're in a rush, which is why from the business side of things, I don't know if they're – uh, if they would say we are 100% going to get this done before camp. Same note, by the way, from Rich Amini, who did not guarantee this deal is going to get done by camp, but he says it very well could happen before camp. we got 40 days to try to figure out this uh, big contract thing. Now, I will say the Jets dodged a bullet this offseason, and I'll explain why right now. Quinton Williams has missed the entire voluntary portion of the offseason so far, which, by the way, is completely his right. It's voluntary. He doesn't have to show up if he doesn't want to. And he made it clear at the end of the season, if he doesn't have his new deal by the start of these voluntary offseason programs, which, by the way, started in April, then he ain't showing up and he's been a man of his word so far. However, that was about to be tested this week because the Jets had on the schedule a mandatory minicamp, a multi-day mandatory minicamp where Quinton 
had to be there. And if he wasn't there, the Jets could have fined him upwards of $93,000. And on top of the fine, it would have been a storyline. Just look to our neighbor in the AFC East with Stefan Diggs. He doesn't show up to the first day. The coach says he's very concerned he's not here. There's all kinds of drama. They were all over ESPN and all the big sites because Stefan Diggs wasn't there. And that was drama. Guess what drama has not happened with the Jets this week? Looks around. Well, not Quinn and Williams. The Jets canceled their mandatory minicamp. Now, I'm not saying they canceled the mandatory minicamp so they wouldn't have to deal with these questions, but it's a nice side benefit of that happening because Robert Sala has a science. He believes giving them this week off, they have to report a week early for training camp, and that will help their bodies be ready for camp. It's his science department and what he ultimately believes, which is fine. But again, what they really did here with the benefit of it is by kicking this can down the road. We don't have to talk Quinnen outside of this video, apparently, but we don't have to hear any real update on the Quinnen situation for a minimum of 40 days. Maybe we get something sooner, obviously, with an extension of some kind. But uh, the point is, is that they've kicked the can down the road, and the last thing we heard from Sala is a deal is going to get done. So at a minimum, this can gets kicked down the road till training camp, and maybe it provides enough time for these two sides to figure out the difference and figure out the gap. So there's no fine for Quinnen. In because there's no mini camp to be had. There's no drama. There's no storyline. Robert Sala doesn't have to answer bitterly because uh, there's nothing to answer. He's not required to speak to the media. So now we wait on this Quinnen thing. And again, by all accounts, I believe this is going to get done. Why do I believe it's going to get done? First off, I know a lot of smart people that uh, are way smarter than my dumb brain that tell me it's going to. And number two, it just makes too much sense. Quinnen is the straw that stirs the gosh darn drink, baby, on this Jets defense. So the Jets need it. Quinnen, of course, needs the Jets. He's under contract with the with the freaking Jets uh, for Pete's sake. And again, it's time to pay Quinnen, which will send a great message to the locker room. It will send a great message to the outer NFL that, hey, when guys are come here and earn it, they're going to get paid. So it's it's just a great story. It's all touchy-feely. It's been a great honeymoon offseason since the Jets have acquired Aaron Rodgers. Why have a potential Roscoe Diner storyline for no reason? Pay Quinnen. He deserves it. He's a young star that is going to be a foundational piece of this defense for 2023 and beyond. Another interesting note, though, that even if a deal doesn't get done before camp, Zach Rosenblatt told me on my podcast, again, you guys can check it out on the YouTube channel, that regardless of the contract situation, he expects Quinnen Williams to show up for training camp, which I find fascinating. Now, if Quinnen does not, then we get into the fine game again, and then things can get a little hairy. So we'll keep an eye out for that situation as it develops. Let us know what you guys think of the comments. A four-year, $98 million deal. Do you like the total? Do you like the value? Do you like the average per year? Do you think it's going to get done? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, a free way you guys can contribute is by pounding that like button and hitting subscribe. That helps to the show grow, expand, tell a Jets fan friend if you like what I say. Even if you hate what I say, I'd also like it if you just shared that love as well. Thanks for tuning in for another quick video, guys. Live streams, guests, all kinds of great stuff are coming up on the channel and have been on the channel. You guys can go check back uh, the history as well, and uh, we'll see you next time right here on the show.